The fallout from the Windrush citizenship scandal has intensified after Home Secretary Amber Rudd resigned on Sunday, saying she had inadvertently misled MPs over targets for removing illegal immigrants. Ms Rudd told MPs last week the Home Office did not have targets for removing illegal immigrants, but on Sunday the Guardian newspaper published a letter in which Rudd set out her ambitious but deliverable aim to deport 10% more illegal immigrants over the next few years to Prime Minister Theresa May. The scale of the Windrush scandal is still unfolding, but it is central to Rudd's resignation. In terms of scale, at the moment we don't know numbers, but it could be hundreds, it may even be thousands of people who have been impacted in some very devastating ways. Some people have been deported, um, there are some really sad stories of parents not being able to get to their child's wedding or children not being able to get to their parents' funeral, so the impact of it is, is vast. Since coming to power in 2010, Theresa May's Conservative Party have made more than 45 5,000 changes to the immigration rules. No other period in British history has seen so many changes in immigration law. These changes have been key to creating the hostile environment that May spoke about when describing the immigration policies that Conservatives would pursue. I think that because of the rise in immigration fees, because of the cuts in legal aid, a lot more, of, a lot more people are going underground and they're not actually regularising their status because they simply cannot afford to do so. While Rudd has had to resign, widespread criticism of the government's handling of the crisis, and especially Theresa May's role in it all, persists. When you label some people as deserving of hostility, that's called racism. And that's what people from the Caribbean and many other people in this country, people of colour, and people who had foreign accents, that's what people have had to bear. And now they had, everybody knows there is justice to their case. While the government says it will address the issues that led to the Windrush citizenship scandal in the hope of drawing a line under the issue, the damage already done to people's lives will remain and many are now saying that given Theresa May's central role in the scandal, she too must now resign.